It is so dangerous to lose humility. That's one of the things that really grounds us. But, but, how, but how, how, as Ramesses, how could he not lose humility, you know? Even though he's a skeptic before, even though he's possibly atheist um, before, he understands that the pantheon of gods, of the Egyptian gods, is absolutely necessary to sustain the power structure. Mm -hmm. But then he becomes a god himself, you know? And you start to see him being seduced by that, and Joel does it brilliantly, you know? Someone who yeah. get, gets just uh, intoxicated with that power. And it's a wonderful evolution that you have of these two like-minded individuals born to every indulgence that could possibly, uh, any man could imagine, and then one of them coming to be compelled by the voice of God, and the other one believing that he is God. And that sets up an incredible dynamic. There was that moment, too, with the other gentleman where, where you went, you're living like a king and I, I need you to not do that. It's a man in complete denial of any possibility of any God whatsoever, mm -hmm. Moses. Because yeah. he comes out of a culture which believes in a thousand gods and therefore does Moses fundamentally believe that he, and he is purely biological. And yet that's the man that ends up leading all of these people. But it's all there if you read it. Yep. It's all there. If you are inspired to, to find out a little bit more about it and you read the Torah, beginning to end, as long as you take out that notion of it's something that you should be doing, you know? Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of like enjoying the Beatles. And I could never enjoy them when I was a kid because everyone told me I should like them, so uh -huh. I didn't like them because it was just tiresome. Mm -hmm. And then when you eventually discover it yourself, then you understand. And mm -hmm. it's, uh, like, like with the Torah, if you can approach it because you personally are interested rather than other people are telling you, it is fascinating. It sure. truly is fascinating and yeah. seeing it as one of the founding uh, pieces of writing for, for, for mankind, just incredible. And the character of Moses, complex, fascinating, iconic and engaging in the extreme. Is there going to be a director's cut of this as there are with a lot no, of No, everything that goes out for me normally is a director's cut. And I start off by bringing this down to, first cut was four and a half hours. And the interesting thing about the four and a half hours, it works, yeah. mainly because the, the story thread, the emotional thread, and the connective tissue with all the characters, particularly Moses, how he joins and evolves, is so interesting that all the, this stuff becomes kind of background information. 